What's up guys, Knife Jim here, back with another individual guide for Scarlet Violet, and today we're going to be talking about Chi and Pao. I think this Pokemon is incredible, it enables pretty much every physical attacking threat in the meta, things like Roaring Moon, Dragonite, you have things like Great Tusk, Iron Hands, a lot of really powerful physical attacking threats, you want to put Chi and Pao on its team. It has the very powerful ability Sword of Ruin that lowers the defense stat of all other active Pokemon by 25% which is huge, it makes it so your damage calcs only really have to get to 80% plus because then you're still taking guaranteed knockouts on just about everything. This, I think, is the best way to play any kind of hyper offense threat that is physical attacking. So if you're playing any physical team that is hyper offense, things like Dragonite with Terra type Extreme Speed, things like Palafin, Water Terra type Jet Punch, Chan Pao just fits right on the team, put it on every single time. It has really solid stats across the board. Well, it, not across the board, but very good overall. 80 HP, 80 defense is not bad. The special attack is 65. You don't really want to switch this thing, thing in unless you're taking a knockout with the other Pokemon. So if you lead something like Dragonite and something else like an Arcanine, you switch out Arcanine into Chi and Pao, your extreme speed really has to be taking a knockout, right? Because you don't want your Chi and Pao to take all the damage in the world and just die turn one. Same with the Dragonite. So, Chien Pao is hyper offense, and hyper offense is very hard to play, admittedly, because you have to be playing correctly. If you make any mistakes, you're punished harder than anybody that just like switches out for an Amoongus, right? Because there you're bulky, you're probably safe, safe switching, but Chien Pao is not always safe. We have 135 base speed, which is incredible. That's the same speed as Fluttermane. Fluttermane does get a plus one in speed, typically, um, but this is still incredibly fast. This is a really, really high speed tier to be at. It's incredibly good. You also have 120 base attack and on a strong sucker punch stab, this is ridiculous. You also have access to ice shard, which is another plus one priority move that is stab with ice and it's physical. So this is just a really, really good typing for this kind of thing. Obviously dark ice isn't the best typing in the world with that big four times weakness to fighting. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the build itself. So, like I said, Focus Sash is ideal here. I like it a lot. We have Terra Type Dark. I think Dark is its best. You can go Terra Type Ice or you could Terra Type completely away, but that's really for like defensive play. And I think you should be always just offensive, hitting hard with this Pokemon. Then Hard and Fast, that's the name of the game. And Dark Type Terra lets you have super powerful stab sucker punches, two times stab on a 70 base power, hits first, crazy. Yeah, we have Sucker Punch here. And then we have Ice Spinner for your stab move, your ice physical stab move. And then we have Sacred Sword because Sacred Sword is really big in this meta. We have so many Don Dozos running around and Sacred Sword just hits right through. It's a clean 50% usually, 50 to 60%. Very good two shot. You have Focus Sash. It's a really good matchup with Chien Pao. I, I think like Chien Pao kind of just like runs right through it pretty well, very, very frequently. And also gets access to Haze. So if you're truly afraid of Don Dozo, Chien Pao is good for this. You have access to Haze, you have access to Sacred Sword. This thing puts in work, like really big work against Don Dozo. You're obviously going to be using the ability Sword of Ruin, and then we have Protect as the last po the last attack on the set. I, I like Protect here because it lets you safe, it lets you like play a little bit more aggressive, right? You bring in the Chien Pao, it gets hit to its Focus Sash, Protect the next turn, you get two turns of Sword of Ruin. Really, really powerful, unless it gets like spread or doubled into um, so you still have to play really, really careful with hyper offense, but this lets you be a little bit more aggressive because you get two turns. If you go like the other route, you know, you go life orb or choice band or anything like that. You're playing a little bit more dangerous of a game. Focus Sash, protect. You can, you can, you can play very, very aggressively. And that's the best way to use it. In my opinion, I know it's kind of lame. We have a 252, 252 force spread, but when you're using like a focus Sash hyper offense team. What else are you going to use? You're not going to invest into bulk. It just doesn't really make sense to inv invest into bulk in this Pokemon, in my opinion. There's definitely a case to be said for like some kind of assault build, uh, assault vest build. I think there's definitely going to be some defensive Chien Pao here in the future, um, since it, you know, it, it lowers all other active Pokemon. So this thing can be built like fairly bulky, but I think then you have to Terra type it out of Dark Ice because you have that big four times weakness stuff to fighting. So I would just recommend Focus Sash Protect, three moves, one of them being Sucker Punch, one being Ice Stab, and one being Sacred Sword. That is my favorite build. I think that's just the, the front runner for Chien Pao. I don't think anybody else is really arguing. This is the front runner build. Now we do have, of course, a second build. Just 
for the fun, right? You have Sucker Punch, you have Ice Shard, you have Ice Spinner, and Psychic Fangs for coverage. Psychic Fangs can be whatever, but if you're locking yourself into Choice Band, it should be a good coverage move in my opinion. Of course, we do have a couple other options that we could have here. We could have things like Icy Wind or a powerful uh, Dark Stab move, but all these Dark Stab moves are 80 power and you have Sucker Punch, which is 70 power. Of course it fails, you know, potentially if your opponent's setting up or any kind of like switch, then you can't Sucker Punch it, but you only use Sucker Punch effectively, right? So this being Crunch, this being Throat Chop is perfectly fine as well. Don't listen to this guy. It should be Sacred Sword. The fourth move should be Sacred Sword. Uh, of course, we're using Choice Band for this set. This could be Life Orb, but if you are switching this to Life Orb, this should probably still just be Protect anyway. Um, so that's, you know, a couple different ways to run this, uh, run this set. And uh, of course, we're still just using the same boring 252, 252 4 spread. We move the 4 to HP, but to be honest, anyway, we do have the options. Like I said, we have uh, powerful dark stab moves. You have Haze, which is a very good option. Definitely something to remember when you are running this Pokemon. And you also have Ice Wind, which could be really good. Of course, that is special attacking. And theoretically, you could run like a special attacking set um, because 90 isn't that, like, isn't bad. And on a powerful Icy Wind, like, that's not bad because it's stab. But. If you're looking for a fast, powerful Icy Wind user, probably use Iron Bundle. You know, there's other Icy Wind users in the meta. And then we have a couple other moves that could be theoretically used pretty well. Um, you have Brick Break, that's very solid. And uh, you have access to Recover, which is cool. Maybe for like, you know, some kind of like more bulky build, but whatever. You also have Swords Dance, which is very viable. Substitute and Taunt. Uh, so you have a lot of different options here, but I, I think these are, you know, the offensive sets that you're looking for. Taunt's not bad in a certain format, and if you're going, like, hyper offense, no trick room counter, maybe Taunt's not bad because then you can just trick the, or taunt the trick room setter. Now, of course, we do have a couple damage calcs. Of course, I'm not going to make one of these videos without damage calcs most of the time. We have first off our choice band Ice Spinner hitting 98 to 115 into an Amoongus. And this Amoongus is fairly, you know, not the best spread. I'm not going to lie. 252 HP and 148 defense is just a fairly even spread, you know, a pretty good split. I think Amoongus is most likely going to be split in between special defense and defense. Looking at this spread, it's very solid. If you take off the choice band, we're still hitting 65 to 77. You could even go uh, adamant here theoretically and go to 71 to 85. Once you hit that 80, you're safe. You're knocking out Amoongus every time. Uh, Amoongus is most likely on Focus Sash right now. I think I'm seeing a lot of Focus Sash. We've seen some Aka Berry. We've seen some other stuff. I don't think it's going to be running Ice Berry this, like, at all the whole format. The only time it ever really was was in Sword and Shield with the uh, um, Lapras. We don't have to worry about that here. So I don't think you should ever worry about Ice Berry on Amoongus. Maybe in the correct, like, in certain formats, but not right now. These numbers are, like, really, really good against Amoongus on, like, a random, you know, split set. Uh, so yeah, that's all we really have there. Next, we are going to be talking about Fluttermane. So Fluttermane also has a little bit of variability here. Uh, of course, our Ice Spinner is doing a lot of damage. So uh, this spread is for defense Fluttermane because that's what we're going to be seeing. It might be Focus Sash, might not be. If it's not, we're just hitting it. And that's very good. We have 252 attack here, no nature for attack. Sucker Punch is hitting 70 to 82. And of course, that does give us a chance at an Oko, but it's a very, very low chance at an Oko. But the second we put on a Choice Band, we're taking the Oko every time guaranteed. And the second we put on a Life Orb, same thing here. Uh, Life Orb takes an Oko every time guaranteed because don't forget we do have 80 or the 25% additional damage from Swords of Ruin, which is really, really good. You're looking for that 80 number here because 80 plus 25% is 20. Boom, 100% you're taking a knockout. So we also have Ice Spinner that's doing the knockout, but we really are looking for the Sucker Punch. This won't always be the bet, the bet guaranteed because we do have fairy type Fluttermane very frequently. And if it does Terra into fairy, well, this instantly turns really bad for us. And this is Life Orb. This is regular. This is just with like a Focus Sash. You're running into a 35 to 40. That's not enough. That's only enough if you already dealt a lot of damage. That's not going to be enough. We do still have Ice Spinner here hitting really hard. If it does, Terra type into fairy. And on a Focus Sash, your Dazzling Gleam is not killing us. And we're outspeeding Chiyu. So you are still capable of taking it out with an Ice Spinner. Most likely. I mean, this, this, look at the spread. Like 78 to 93. We're almost always, I mean, what's that, like an 85, a 90% Oko? I think that's a pretty relevant number. I think I'm probably going to take that roll almost every time. Um, but it is nice to just push that into, you know, guaranteed here. But yeah, of course, right? Dazzling Gleam is always taking a knockout. But who cares? We have Focus Sash. Now, if you're running Choice Band, do not fret. Because look at the damage. I think it's a positive matchup. 
Next, we have our last calc here. It's Rolling Moon, and this is kind of just a roll. <laughs> like, it's, it's a steam roll. I'm not going to lie. If it Terra types in, if it Terra types in a flying, cool. If it doesn't, who cares? <laughs> it's still a dragon Pokemon. It, it knocks us out, right? So it hits us to our Focus Sash, and then we Ice Spinner it back. So I don't think Roaring Moon has a good matchup against Xian Pao. So yeah, this damage is just crazy, man. It's crazy. Anyway, that is it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Goodbye.